In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to optimize a two-color font that you create. Most of the times when you create a two-color font that's not already pre-made that way, you're going to use the automatic outline. In this case, we're going to create a simple string of text with an automatic outline. If you don't know how to do this, check the video I have on how to create an automatic outline around some lettering. Satin outline, and then we're going to check that square, apply, and stitch it. As you can see, the system will place a letter and then outline the letter, then sew another, the inside of a letter, then the outside. This is the way to ensure optimum registration, but if you're going to sew this on something flat and it's not very stretchy, then you can avoid a lot of these color changes simply by grouping this into two sections. What I'm going to do is I'm going to group the, the letters C-O-M-P and then I'm going to outline C-O-M-P and then U-C-O-N and outline U-C-O-N. Two color changes. So what we have to do first is we have to split the text. So we're going to click edit and I'm going to right click and we're going to say split text to characters. All text, even though you see it as an individual block down here, is grouped. What this does is essentially ungroups it. Now it will no longer behave as text, but it behaves as individual digitized items. Then we're going to click the select mode, and I'm going to select, click and drag a box around the objects I want. I have the first four letters. Right click and select merge. You see now it shows COMP outside COMP. Do the same for UCON. Merge. And now we have our two color design with only two color changes 